Eric Davis, Haiti C. Airstream, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, they're here. 2019, 25 foot front bedroom. This is a front queen, uh, just off the off the line. And quick walk around, talk a little bit about what's new and exciting. Obviously, 25 foot. The one thing that uh, you see from Airstream are I refer to it as the sunglasses. So that is the mylar, which protects, but also gives you the opportunity to create awnings. You have uh, tempered glass. And all of Airstream's Jalousy windows are three position. So it allows you to let the air in. Uh, stainless steel wraps. We haven't removed any of the covering uh, because once again, we just received this product. So you've got the stainless steel wraps. You've got the sunglasses to protect. Some of the fun stuff with Airstream, I've got 4,000 pounds of lifting power. What that means is when I'm working my way back with my vehicle and I lock into place, I can raise and then put my weight distribution hitch into play with very little ease because they're allowing me this 4,000 pounds of lifting power. I have also a, a uh, uh, hook up for my uh, solar. So I can now do an umbilical as opposed to roof mounted solar. That way, if I'm in the shade, that will certainly work to my advantage. Uh, that product is produced by ZAMP out of uh, Oregon. The ZAMP solar panels are the same system that Airstream uses uh, when they do a roof mounted system. Um, my spare tire is undermount. No one has access to that but me. I know where my spare is. I've got dual deep cycle batteries. Along with that, I have a quick disconnect propane port. That will allow me to plug in uh, a gas grill. I might carry a small fire pit with me. I might have extended gas line, which I can use for additional quick disconnect product because I am carrying twin 30 pound, 60 pounds of propane with me. There are now generator systems out there where you can utilize the fuel resource that you have to pro uh, to provide power for a small generator being that they are propane driven. You can also get modification kits to existing um, generators where I can modify them to accept propane. Airstream provides a 30 amp plug which mirrors the same system in the back. On the 25 foot Airstream this becomes kind of cool because if I'm towing with Say a pickup truck with an open bed, I might want to include my generator system within the bed of the truck, short umbilical to keep me in the game. Obviously a great resource and the fact that Airstream provides that duplicate service, very cool. Stainless steel wraps all the way around. All of your, Airstream has extended their stabilizer wands to the outside of the trailer. It used to be that you had to kind of work underneath the trailer, but now uh, just with, and you can even acknowledge that with a small handheld drill so that in putting my stabilizers up and down, everything is at my fingertips. Uh, this Airstream is equipped with a window wrap awning. So this is really kind of nice because not only um, does it provide, your refrigeration system is located here. This will take the heat off the side of the trailer to extend the life expectancy of your refrigerator. By the way, all of these beautiful, these are all Sumbrella fabrics. Um, no vinyl involved. All of the fabric used by uh, Zip D on their awnings is Sumbrella. It is antimicrobial. Um, if you have to get out of the campground and uh, it's checkout time, keep in mind, uh, I don't really have to worry about the moisture, but my advice when you get home, air out your awnings. So this, of course, is the uh, Sumbrella fabric in the graphite. You have outdoor shower, both hot and cold running water. This marries to the same system that you have on the inside of the trailer. So I can work outside, inside, and there is a resting bracket for my handheld uh, shower. All your potable water is locked and it is located in between the axles. Also in between the axles is your 
your dump valve for your fresh water system. It makes it very easy to keep your fresh water moving and fresh at all times. While we're talking about axles, these are the same rubber torsion axles from Dexter that we're all used to. You have four independent axles. Um, to say this is new technology, Airstream started using that, that same system back in the 50s, so it is really kind of a, well, it's tried and true, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Your access panel for, by the way, no, there's no plastic or no, you know, small. These are all aluminum, which, of course, are buck riveted. So all of their access panels are the same as you would expect from everything that is Airstream. By the way, every outside product that Airstream puts in is gasketed. So it's not just um, glued on to the side of the trailer. Uh, once again, that's all about moisture. And we know the fact that Airstream produces all their own buck riveting. There are rain rails. We, of course, are equipped here with an additional awning. But all of your jealousy windows are radiused, and they are three position. You want to get a lot of air into your Airstream, this is the way to do it. And not only that, with the rear entrance 25-footer, all the air is in, if you will, your living space in back. And what is behind us? Well, that could be the fence line, the tree line, but it could be the lake. It could be the river. It could be the creek. Um, you have your two access ports here. One for, once again, that 30-amp service. And then I have a hookup for both cable and my satellite, meaning that instead of doing a roof-mounted system, I could do uh, the thing called a tailgate, where I'm using a portable satellite system. My, uh, They've gone to a new uh, wonderful polished aluminum plate on my forced air furnace. Airstream has two resources of heat. I have a forced air furnace utilizing propane, which will pump a continuous flow into the base or the undercarriage of my trailer, which is sealed, meaning that I'm protecting my tanks. I also have a secondary resource coming off a heat pump, working off of the AC system. So if you're gonna be cool weather, cold weather camping, that's also very cool. Um, obviously, with the addition of the wrap awnings, we have a rear window awning, uh, beautifully accompanied here, also done in a wonderful umbrella fabric. Locks into place, once again, three position window. So on the 25 foot Airstream with panoramic windows front, panoramic windows rear, yes, a lot of light pouring in, but the, the sheer thing about a four feet of window in front and back, and this is equipped with two fantastic fans, a lot of air rolling into my system. All of your exterior lamps are all LED. Uh, basically that goes to longevity, but it's also kind of the cool factor. I have a bumper. I have a bumper with storage. I can store with Airstream's application of a undermount PVC tube. I can put my stinky slinky under my trailer. But also, it's very easy applicating it to a bumper on the rear of the trailer itself. And the other uh, option that this trailer has would be our rear camera system. That's really, I noticed I didn't say backup. Yes, it is a backup camera. You have LED lighting. It will light up your space. It's wonderfully accomplished that way. However, I'm going to probably spend more time heading down the road than backing up, which means with a rear camera system, as I am moving, I'm checking out about a seven and a half inch display on my dashboard that allows me to see three lanes of traffic behind me. So when I make a move left or right, I got a pretty good idea where everybody is. So to me, that becomes a almost a necessity from the standpoint of safety. Every Airstream comes equipped with your beautiful um, uh, Zipti awning, which will go out about eight and a half feet, totally adjustable. You can change the pitch. Uh, this is obviously something that uh, is easily extended. Uh, there is also a power awning option for different Airstreams. So Zip D has been doing this also since the 50s with Airstream. Doesn't get any better than that. You've got an op They've gone to the aluminum steps, which allows you to create either a single step entry or a dual step entry. And once again, these are all aluminum. 
And they're now being, and obviously from the standpoint of how everything works, it's just, it's the Airstream concept. You have, once again, all this full awning. You have storage capabilities in front, outside 110. And then, of course, you have the fun stuff. This is the, the screen door that Airstream provides has both a, a people protector and a kid protector. Um, obviously, it allows for a ton of air to go in. And Airstream, in manufacturing, you have an opaque, more light in, uh, entry door, all radius, takes Airstream about eight and a half hours just to finish one door. And when an Airstream door shuts, I'd like to notice it captures the screen door. I'd love to put you all inside when I shut that door because it's a little bit of a vacuum. It just works beautiful. Once again, what's on the outside is very cool. It's where you're spending, I believe, a lot of your time. But what is also cool is what's on the inside. Come on in. Let's check this out. 2019 Flying Cloud front bedroom. Here done with the truffle interior, the landmark edition. So this is all, by the way, the same ultra leather that you're used to throughout the Airstream lineup. The beautiful thing about the upholstery in the cloud is that it has the ability to breathe meaning that it will adapt your body temperature. No hot sticky in the summer, no cool slick in the winter. And not only that, this is meant to be, if you will, rugged. These are uh, closed foam core cushions. Uh, they have a, a memory topper. And frankly, if you want to take them outside and hose them off, uh, this product is going to, let's say it has the durability factor to last a lifetime. And by the way, if you if you have your Airstream and you hold on to it for years, think about replacing cores or uh, the cushion uh, tops themselves and refreshing the inside of your Airstream. Good call. Where I'm standing as you walk into the Airstream, I think says a lot about what this frame entails. Notice, if you will, the wraparound panoramics moving into the dual radius. The overhead um, vista view windows, and we also have light pouring in from a sky lamp, along with porthole windows and, of course, our entry door. So I'm literally surrounded by about 300 degrees of light. Uh, this has a very open feel to it. That's what's beautiful about the 25-foot cloud. This travel trailer weighs about 5,500 pounds. So from a towing perspective, yes, it is a relatively lightweight travel trailer. If you're uh, a truck guy, a half-ton pickup. Uh, but obviously, this could be pulled with some of the, the bigger SUVs. Gives you an opportunity to think about what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, and down the road. Um, you have a dinette here that, that lifts up, and of course, you, this locks into place and drops. So that I can outfit not only a pair of people back here, I have a pullout, which will give me the opportunity, the luxury of putting a couple more people into play here. Or if I got a guy that's eight feet long, I can put him here. Obviously, windows leaning uh, all around so I can get a lot of air moving through. From the standpoint of entertainment, I've got a Clarion sound system, subwoofer that has both a variable um, bass and treble control on that. I have a Blu-ray player. I have individual USB ports which are located here. I've got additional ports in the bedroom. So from a charging capability I have that. But I also have a dedicated uh, USB port here which will go to the system, the entertainment system itself. And yes of course everything is Bluetooth applicable so I can marry my phone to my trailer and I have a Bluetooth microphone here, which allows me to carry on conversations on my phone utilizing the speaker system in the Airstream. And not only that, if you're going to the bathroom, I can still have a conversation. It's a beautiful thing. Um, Ductwork. Everything is now LED lighting, and all of my AC system is ducted. What that allows me to do is focus that opportunity where I might be. If I am done in my master bedroom 
and I'm in my living quarters, well then I'm going to maybe turn those vents off, focus that beautiful air wherever it is I'm, I'm hanging out. Maybe the bedroom at night, maybe the, uh, uh, obviously the living space during the day. This is an eight foot, six inch wide platform. If there's dogs involved in the team, if we've got kids, if we, the thing about it is we have luxury of space. If I am working my galley, I still have all of this beautiful room to move through the travel trailer. Deep well stainless. Yes, you do have um, uh, cor covers for yours. This is, by the way, Moen. You have this beautiful uh, Wilson Art laminate. You're going here with your porthole windows. You have uh, your computer system and your inverter system at your control. What I mean by that, you have outlets that are inverted. That's allowing you the luxury of having a thousand watts of power. Uh, where might I use that? Uh, possibly at the rest area. You stop. I'm going to have a sandwich. I'm going to utilize my water. I'm going to utilize my lighting. I can turn on televisions. I can turn on entertainment. I can plug in my computer, plugging into a 110 outlet and charging using that thousand watts of inverted power that is accessible to me. Um, let's check out the galley. So the galley set up on the, on the cloud is frankly amazing. Storage abounds, not only from overhead radius, but also the opportunity to uh, store and underneath my um, bump out stainless, I have a three, ray, three burner range, high output, lower output, overhead um, vent fan, which still allows me to um, all of the access for my storage. And then, of course, pantry space. Pantry space that is fully adjustable that allows me everything from canned goods to boxes of cereal. Uh, this just works out beautifully. This Airstream is, con is uh, decked out with a convection microwave, which allows you to grill, to bake, to fry, everything here. Uh, I might opt for an additional um, uh, oven, which would give me the opportunity to utilize my propane. HD LED TVs. These are Samsung products. These are like your televisions at home. You would or would not be shocked about the clarity and the quality. In lovely Columbus, Ohio, we get 38 channels of free TV. Who knew? Your refrigeration system is massive. There are... Um, fun little um, drop-down shelving units in here so I can easily access in and out. This is what's called a smart refrigerator, meaning that it utilizes either your shore power or propane. When you unplug from your shore power, automatically switches over to propane. This is something that's all about an ease of use thing. In the 25, I have two opportunities to close off midship. I have a opportunity just before the lavatory, and then I also have that same opportunity from the master bedroom. That allows me to be midship and utilize wardrobes, utilize my, um, my shower, get into the lavatory. And if I'm with guests, what a great concept because they can utilize the front living quarters and then access while possibly we are still sleeping in our master. You have a wardrobe unit with hanging storage. You've got overhead LED lighting. You've got a walk-in um, shower that has 12 volt fans above. I also have 12 volt fans in the lavatory. What that means to me is that is the opportunity for me to move the air through the trailer so I'm not worrying about things like moisture, uh, condensation, and things like that. The lavatory setup is beautiful, has the same overhead configuration with the 12-volt uh, fan. And then as we move into the master, you're going to see, um, well, you've got, first of all, a walk-around queen bed, which allows me, guess what, I can make the bed. Also, from a storage perspective, this all lifts up. And I have undermount bins, I have that access, I've got drawers, and I've got just an incredible amount of storage. Along with that, if you 
look over here, you're going to see I have wardrobe storage and I have drawer. So wardrobe and drawer storage. So in the cloud, I've got additional wardrobe space, additional overhead space. I've got LED lighting. I've got my panoramic wraparounds. And I also have the ability to utilize my TV. So the Dometic system in the Airstream allows me to one-touch control all of my heating and cooling. I'm going to say it's kind of a, just like home thing, set it and forget it. In the 25-foot cloud, I have both a overhead, um, which they've just in 2019 gone to fantastic uh, fans with shades. So I can now shade all that beautiful light coming in. Or, obviously, I can, uh, so if I'm worried about the light, that will uh, be taken care of with my new uh, shades on my fantastic fan. 2019 Airstream 25-foot flying cloud front bedroom walk-around queen. Once again, a mobile travel trailer, 5,500 pounds dry weight, a mobile trailer from the standpoint of a dual axle electronic brakes on all four axles you have the luxury of an eight and a half foot wide platform with beautiful living quarters but yet the opportunity to separate my um, master bedroom from the living area what this is to me is a travel trailer that certainly is a wonderful weekend warrior, but this is a travel trailer that you could full time in. It has the stuff that Airstream offers that makes sense. Once again, I'm Eric Davis, Hey to See Airstream, Columbus, Ohio. Give me a call. Area code 614-279-8880 or reach me by email. Eric, E-R-I-C, at Hey to See. H-A-Y-D-O-C-Y dot com. I want you to uh, enjoy the journey, but most of all, happy camping. <music>